guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today we are going to be jumping into the Decades Challenge and we are going to be going to see Charles. And I'm really looking forward to it because I'm so excited to build upon his house. And I also want to give the hospital in the city where he's working a Decades 1920s makeover. So I'm really looking forward to that. If you haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe and joining our family here. And let's go ahead and check in on Charles. So as we join the household today, I can see that we must have missed Charles' first day at work. Um, so he is home in his scrubs. Now I was thinking about it, some things in the um, hospital were going to have to leave just for the purpose of doing the career, even though in the 1920s they probably didn't have some of the um, machines that they obviously have for the game. Uh, but in order for him to progress in his career, we do have to use some of them. So I think I'm just going to try to avoid looking at them and I will go use them and then. <laughs> um, but anyways, so we are back here at home. Charles has arrived at his little house here. And as you can see, it is still got a long ways to go before it is ready. It looks like little Miss Erin is coming out to say hello to Charles after a long day of work. With the hospital house, the way we're going to do this is we're going to do some roommates. Um, that way he has people to care for. So I am actually going to get him to post an ad. That way we can have two little roommates here and have them staying in this room here. I think I should probably put some wallpaper in the room where the patients are going to stay. Okay, so now I have some wallpaper in there. I put a little nightstand for each of them. So I'm going to have Charles go ahead and I want him to post an ad for a roommate. There we go. Here we go. So basically I'm saying he's put like a letter up at the local post office where he will be able to, um, where people will be able to see like, oh, there's a new doctor in town. Like, so he's going to start advertising. He's feeling uncomfortable from poorly decorated. He's so used to his mom's beautiful paintings. We're going to have to make sure Alice gives him some for the next time he is over there. This little beautiful lady, she actually did not do very good in school. She has nine of 12 credits ready left. So I do need her to enroll. Now she is taking psychology. So psychology will help her be a detective, a diamond agent, agent, a professor, or, an, or a covert operator. I think we would go down the teacher route. Ah, teacher and a doctor, they're gonna be so cute. Okay, so how many classes? She needs to get three more. And she can stay at home. It's going to cost $420. I think they can afford it. She's on probation, so she has a lot to do. So I am going to get her to... Um, does she have class tomorrow? She does have class tomorrow. So which class in 14 hours? So we need to do debate me at psychology of attitude. And she does have a presentation board. Okay, so she's got a lot of work to do. Um, I'm going to get her to do her homework. Uh, so that way she's ready for her classes for tomorrow. And Charles is sleeping. And we will catch back up with them, you guys, in the morning. Okay, so it is 5 o'clock in the morning. Charles does start work in two hours. So I am going to wake him up and have him take care of all of his needs. Um, this little cutie, she's been doing schoolwork all night. I just need to make sure she finished the homework that she needs for today. So, uh, Charles is up. I do have bills that need to be paid, I noticed. Our bills are $540. And we also got his diploma in the mail recently. So, I don't know why we have two diplomas. But we do have two. So he must have um, got one for each class that he completed or something like that. There, so now he's got his two diplomas. He's not much of a cook, but he does have to go to work soon. I don't think he has a huge, his level two, yeah. His mom and his sisters usually used to always do the cooking. So that's one thing that um, I think he's hoping that Aaron will take over at some point. Um, but right now with her doing school, of course, Charles is not going to even 
Oh my gosh, there's a fire. It says fire, but I don't see a- <gasps> Oh my god, Charles- Okay, I know that Charles is about to die, but can we just talk about how pretty this girl is? Okay. Look how she doesn't look pretty there. She looks a little evil in her bottom picture. Can you come over and extinguish? Please, put him out. Please, please, please. Okay, I'm gonna have him go take a shower quickly before work. He starts work in half an hour. Oh, it's gonna be 2800 to replace that. That was expensive. Okay, so we do want to join him at work. So, unfortunately, he wasn't able to eat and he almost burned down. That's not quite what Charles had in mind for his morning. Anyways, if you guys remember in the last episode, I was talking about how Charles is going to be working in the big city in order to make money to fund his hospital home project back in the small town so apparently that was really common back then where in the bigger cities they'd have the big hospital where you would go to when there was something really serious and then for the smaller stuff you would go to the hospital home or if you couldn't make it sometimes you would just call the local doctor so that's kind of what I plan on doing for Charles here so I think I'm going to download this hospital. It's called the Founders Hospital. I do like how it's got the brickwork. It does look a little bit more um, big city 1920s. Um, and it was created by Grochi Panda 25. And the original was also by Grochi Panda 25. It says this hospital is fully equipped to handle all patients, a separate clinic to use to see urgent patients, mother, baby, L wing, and an upstairs is a wellness center along with a chapel. So your Sims will, your Sims will leave healthy and refreshed. I really like that. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, look at the wedding chapel. They do usually have a church or some type of chapel in the hospitals. I like that they thought of that. And then, oh wow, this can be Charles' office. I love this. So you know what? They did pretty good. Like, I feel like for the time period and us also needing specific things, I think they did pretty good with how everything looks. I love that there's this wellness center with the spa and like a place to work out. So some of it's a little bit more modern, um, but I think for the purpose of him going to work, I think that this hospital works pretty good. Um, I love that there is a whole, like look at this, like imagine our Sims coming here to give birth. That is so cool. There's like a lunch room for our Sims. I love it. Oh, look like this is like the front desk area for the baby area. Okay, so hopefully all of our patients will go back inside. Here, Charles, go inside. House call. Someone has called the hospital asking for a doctor to come to their house for help. Select the front desk to travel to the house call. Oh, that's exciting. Go to house call. There we go. Um, are you sure you want to send your sim to a house call? It will transport them to another lot. Yes. Oh, yay, we get to do a house call. This is exactly what Charles wants to do. He wants to be able to you know make the medical experience a little bit more cozy a little bit more homey like who wants to go to some huge building when they're sick and not know who these people are or where you are you don't feel as relaxed so i think it's such a great thing that he gets to do house calls okay so we need to examine the patient are you the pa who's the patient does it tell me oh here's the patient's Okay, so I need him to come over here and examine the patient. So, uh, Charles is meeting with his first patient. Oh, I hope she goes to class. Can I bring her here? No. I hope she goes to class. And let's go examine this patient. Oh, I have to examine and give medicine. There we go. Where's the other lady? Okay, so he's giving this lady her medicine. Oh, this is like Charles' first real experience with like on hand caring for people and I think it makes him really happy. He really is a naturally pretty caring guy. And I think that really comes from having such a big family and wanting to help wherever he can. And, you know, the loss of his dad really weighed heavily on him. He really felt like he should have been there. So I think being able to give back and try to help other people is really, you know, 
really good for him because I think Charles is such a great guy and I think he's been really hard on himself. Here, here, you helped and treated all the patients. Pat's on the back. You did a great job. Now it's time to get back to work. The more patients to treat. There are more patients to treat. Click on your sim and return to the hospital. Oh, she didn't go to work. Can you go to class? Oh, she's going to be late for class. Okay, we're going to have to not... There's two classes today. I think that he's going to have to go home early. I'm going to have him go home. I feel so bad. Ugh. I just don't want her to fail school. I don't want to be spending so much time on school for her. Okay, so we're back here. I need to send her to school. I am so upset that she is missing class right now. Go to class. Please go. I feel so bad that he had to leave work early, but it is what it is. Okay, so she just got here. So she did the absolute minimum. Did it say that? She did the absolute minimum of showing up. Her disinterest in actually absorbing the material is somewhat evident and will potentially result, oh no. So she might fail her other class. Oh, he's hugging her. He's gonna tell her, you know, I am so sorry that you're failing class. I know how stressful it can be, but you know, you're so smart. I totally believe in you. So let's try to maybe, if we're Charles, can we try to maybe give her a little bit of a, a laugh before she has to go to work? Or before she has to go to school. She's so tense and now she's going to class. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have her actively listen. I hope this one goes a little bit better for her. Oh, who's this? Is this a potential roommate? I think this is our first customer, you guys. Okay, so let's go more roommate. Accept as new roommate. Yay, we got a new patient. Roommate ad has been taken down. Yes, I'm so excited to move in as your new roommate. Yay. So we're going to assign this bed to Tobias and we will assign this bed to Charles. Okay, so maybe let's have him come over and be friendly and we're gonna go give him some medical advice. So it says here that Charles is giving him some medical advice. I would turn the lights on, but it's power conservation day and we suck. So what does this little cutie need to do? She's feeling very tense. So how about you go wash your hands so you feel a little bit less embarrassed. She needs some fun and her social is getting low. And we also have some mail that we have to take care of and pay the bills. So it doesn't help that Charles came home from work early because we are really running low. But once she has finished school, she'll be able to become a teacher. Oh wait, she's a psychologist. She's gonna become a teacher in psychology, I think. So I think Charles is going to talk to um, Aaron and say we've got our first patient and he's staying here. His name is Tobias, so he's going to let her know all about it. So she seems really happy for him. She's a cat lover. I wonder if these two will get a little cat. Right now they can't afford anything. So I think now what we're going to do is he is going to go friendly and I want him to discuss cognitive focusing methods, try to give him some help with his wellness. And he's really sad so I think he does need some help also with his psychological help. So I think that we are going to have Aaron is going to try to help him just feel a little bit better. So she's gonna do a cheerful introduction. And we'll be friendly. Now, we'll first ask about his day and she'll try to get to know about him and it's a really beautiful setting. It's not snowing here in Strangerville. So it's really nice, like they have a beautiful view, they're sitting on the porch, so she's able to really have him sit down and relax, although he won't sit. Try to get to know him, you know, that way she can kind of understand what, where his sadness is coming from. He's really sad. So she's discussing his sad mood. Um, let's see, let's try to brighten his day. 
So he's now actually in a focused mood. He's not sad anymore. So she's been able to help redirect his thoughts into something positive. So now he's probably wanting to do some type of focused work. And it looks like Charles is, oh, Harry Dempsey wants, wants us to come over and hang out. Okay, I think we definitely will, but we're going to take little Aaron with us. Our patients just stay at the house. They don't come with us anywhere. So obviously Erin doesn't have her degree yet, so she can't give any official help when it comes to dealing with people's psychological needs, but she's almost got her degree, so she definitely is still adding to the experience. Erin's reading. Let's get Erin to go ahead and meet all of his family. So this is his little sister, Elsie. Look at her little dress, she's so cute. So we've gone ahead and we've met little Elsie. So let's come downstairs and have her meet Harry. She can meet my favorite human being on planet Earth, Mr. Cutie Pie Theo. But I guess we're gonna meet Harry. Oh my gosh, you guys, is Harry not the most handsomest man alive? He looks so much like his father. So Harry is a stay-at-home dad slash farmer. Oh, you guys look, there's Harry and look, there's Elias. This is when he was experimenting with different hair, facial hair. So he's got like a little mustache. Oh my gosh, Harry, why are you such a babe? I love Harry. I think Harry needs like 20 more sons. That way we always have an Elias look alike in our lives. So I think this is actually a really great opportunity because Charles has actually told Aaron about um, her brother and his brother and the issues that he faces. So I think what we're going to do is she's just going to try to get to know him, try to see what makes him tick, you know, things like that. But I would like her to get to know him. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, she's, so she's learned he's gloomy. So she's learning about his PTSD. So I think she's kind of getting a feel for what's going on with Charles or with Harry. So that's interesting. So she'll be able to start to make an assessment about that. Oh, Alice is out here playing her violin. That's how she met Elias. Is he hired someone to perform for him and she showed up. That must be a, a real um, connection for her. Like she probably really feels, oh, there's Carrie, she's on the computer. Like when she plays the violin, she probably feels a lot more um, closer to him. Here's little pretty Carrie. So let's come over and just do a quick friendly introduction to Carrie. And then Erin should know all of the family that lives here at least. Oh, Harry's taking care of his son. How's that going for him? He looks happy. He's doing a really good job caring for his kid. I think Harry will be a very good father. Now, I don't know about how, <laughs> how good of a husband he's going to be. <laughs> I don't think he was ready to be a husband. I think he's a fairly responsible young man, but he was not really wanting to... Uh, have a, a relationship so quick so I think that's been hard so he made food for everyone so everyone can come here and sit together Alice is here hi Alice did she meet Alice I just realized I don't think she actually introduced herself to his mom yet she didn't so can we do friendly uh, let's do a cheerful introduction I think Alice is probably so happy to see Charles bring a girl home. Like, she's probably like, ooh, more grandbabies. And I think that she's always been really worried for Charles because he dealt with so much pressure after his dad left for the war. I think Alice was feeling like, um, felt like she and the family stole a little bit of time from him. But real in real reality, um the war stole, stole time from Charles and from Nellie, not, not the family. But, um, I think she's just really happy to be like, oh, okay, he's back on track. He's starting this hospital. He's, you know, got a little lady friend here. They say they're just friends, but, you know, Alice is like, it's okay. 
So it's really nice to see that they're all getting along. Carrie and Stanley are in bed. <gasps> Harry's upstairs, you guys. They're not sleeping in the same bed right now. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, it's 1.20 in the morning, so I think we're going to send everyone home. I don't know, you guys. I really like Carrie, but I'm not sure if that relationship is working out so well for them. I don't think Harry loves her. I think he has an appreciation for the fact that she gave birth to his child, but I don't think that he would have been in a relationship with her otherwise. So Nellie wants to come over and hang out, so I'm going to say okay to that. So let's have Charles come in and be friendly. So I'm going to have him come over and be friendly, do a knock-knock joke. Hopefully him and her will be able to get along well. Hopefully Erin can have a shower before her class starts. Her homework's not going to be done and neither is her shower. But at least she's a little bit less stinky. So, Charles, if you guys remember, uh, Charles invited Nellie over to the birthday and, or to his graduation and actually Nellie didn't show up. So I think that Charles is still pretty upset about it. So they're going to have a deep personal conversation. So Charles is going to say, you know, I'm a little disappointed that you didn't come to my graduation. You know how important that was to me and I've, you know, been nothing but supportive to you. So I just want you to know that that really upset me. And I think now I just tell him, you know, I've been working such late nights and I just slept in. It wasn't intentional and I know that it wasn't. So I want to make sure that these two can keep their really close bond because they really are best friends. I also want him to come over and I would really like him to encourage being with Gage because I think that Charles is the only one who knows that uh, Nelly is definitely, Charles is the only one that Nelly would listen to when it comes to um, suggestions. Like if it came from Emma or from Harry, she would be just so annoyed. Erin turned in her homework confidently and squeezed, oh good, so she only got it, I need to get Oh, I need to get some things done. It was nice seeing you. So Nellie took off. Now, Nellie is actually in town right now because she is going to be joining Alice's big birthday bash, which is happening on Friday for you guys. Or is it Saturday? Which will be happening on Saturday for you guys. So she's going to be... Every, all the family's going to be together to celebrate Alice. So that'll be exciting. Anyways... Charles wanted to influence her to be with Gage, but Nellie decided to take off before the conversation got there. <laughs> so it's a Friday night. These two both really want some fun. So I'm going to let her do her homework for a little bit. Our roommate's back. Tobias is back. He's been getting lots of rest. Apparently he's been going to a lot of parties. So I think Tobias definitely deals with depression. He's really sad, so... I think we're gonna get her to try to cheer him up a little bit. So she's gonna try to make him feel a little bit better. I think I'm gonna send Charles to sleep because he's just tired and I'm gonna send her to sleep and I'm gonna let them sleep in. I think Charles actually works tomorrow morning. I just realized that he probably works the weekends. Yeah, he works in six hours. I think Tobias is still feeling pretty sad. Oh, he's feeling a lot better, so I think that she's going to try to continue to make him feel good today, and hopefully by Monday, over the weekend, with them helping him, he will be able to go out into the world and do better. Charles did a good job today. He can really turn this clinic into a beacon for the community. We got twelve fifty for our day at work. Oh, the romance festival is in town. I think these two should go together. They both need some fun, and it's been a busy day. He made $1,250, you know, go out, have some dinner, and just relax. These guys have been just working way too hard. Okay, so they're both really hungry. I guess we could get them to get some food here. Here. Come over here and order some ramen. And you can go ahead and order some ramen. So they're going to order some food together at one of the little food stalls here. Oh, whenever we come to the romance festival, we have women that are disappearing. 
This girl has got one of the most unique outfits I think I have ever seen. She is trying to get it, girl. Is there anything else they could do? Maybe they could buy some art. Oh, is Alice selling art here? Oh my gosh, you guys. Alice, what a babe. She is over here. Is this all her? She's selling her paintings, you guys. At the festival. Oh, Charles came to see his mom. Let's have her come over and say hello to the mom, too. Come over and say hello to Alice. So it's good. It looks like Alice gets along pretty good with Charles, uh, Charles's new, uh, friend. Charles is so handsome, I have to admit. Like, Harry's really cute, but can we just appreciate how handsome this guy is? Like, he's smoking hot. Okay, so maybe let's get these two to come have some tea together to warm up. These two deserve to have a little bit of romance in their lives, don't you think? So he's having a little bit of the tea. It looks like he's reading a note, too. There. So now they're both a little flirty. This is good. Let's check her hotness. I mean, we are a doctor. We just want to make sure she's okay. She's been out in the cold. Excuse me, can you leave, please, ma'am? Aw, she... <gasps> she just jumped into his arms when he did that. He just wants to make sure she's okay, you know? What else can he do? Let's have him joke about getting together. She's a little... She got flirty way faster than he did. But like I said, when they were in university, she was following him everywhere. So he's going to make a joke about them getting together. Let's see how it goes. It looks like she's responding to it well. Now that guy's mad walking around with flowers. Maybe some girl said no to him. Okay, let's see if he offers her a rose if that goes well. He's like, you know, I just want to make sure you're okay. You've been out in the cold. So she is single. He's going to give her a rose. Oh, she liked that. I don't know why they're not getting any romance. Oh, they got a little romance bar now. They're having a suggestive conversation, and he blew a kiss. So I'm, oh, they're flirting. I didn't do that. Let's just see where it goes now. These two seem to be doing really well. Aw, they're embracing each other. I'm not doing this. I mean, if Charles looked at me, I'd be like, oh, my lord. Oh, look, it lets us do the first kiss. Let's do it. So he's like, I really appreciate your help. I appreciate that you're working so hard to get school done for us. And... Oh, she's so much shorter than him. They just had their first kiss, you guys. Alice is probably over there with, like, binoculars, like, Get it, Charles! Go get it! <laughs> that made me so happy. So they're having a steamy exchange. That is so cute. Um, I do think Charles, though, is a gentleman. They still live together, so the fact that they're kind of having feelings for each other, he wants to make sure, you know, that he's not making her feel uncomfortable or feeling like she has to do anything that she's not okay with. So, and I do think that because he is the way he is, he also would be taking it slow. I don't think they're jumping into a um, boyfriend-girlfriend situation quite yet. She wants a lot more than just a funny joke. Tender romantic words fill this conversation. I think that he, I think that she really, really likes him. So Charles is probably trying to be super um, respectful and stuff like that. But I think Erin's a little bit more forceful with it. And she's like, I'm not wasting my time. I know what I want, honey, and it's you. So she's asking him to be his boy, her boyfriend. Aaron just became the girlfriend of Charles. Oh, they're dating, you guys. Okay, so I think they need to do another kiss then. 
Okay, so the festival's ending soon, so I think we're gonna have these guys go home. I think Charles is really happy to know that she's on the same page. Like I said, he's not the type of guy to, you know, uh, fast pace anything he wants to be very respectful so even though they are official um he's still gonna take it slow and oh wow someone must have got married she looks great so yeah um i think they're definitely gonna take it slow and he's still gonna respect the fact that you know she has her space he has his he's not gonna do any uh, late of the night late night woohoos you know yeah so they're back home now but yeah not to be disrespect not to you know say anything but i think that charles is a lot more of a respectable young man he still believes in the regular traditional setting of a relationship you know having marriage before they do love a little bit of love woohoos um and you know being very respectful of uh her space and her privacy before she's ready for that um whereas harry i think might be a little bit different in that sense where you know, he's been through so much, so many traumatic things in his life where he's just kind of like wanting to let loose a little bit, which I totally get. Um, now, he did get paid today, so I really would like him to do a little bit of decorating. Okay, so I was able to get some wallpaper up in this room. We got them a little cute lamp and his chair's there and they have like a little area to eat for now. It's really nothing fancy, but at least it's starting to get some wallpaper going. <laughs> so I think he's just going to come over and embrace her and say, you know, I really enjoyed my evening with you. Uh, thank you so much for such a wonderful evening and good night. So he's going to say good night to her. Aww, they're so cute together. He looks really happy. So I'm gonna send everyone to bed and I think we're gonna leave this part here, you guys. Our patient seems to still be doing pretty well. He isn't as sad as he was before. I think that was a huge, you know, um, Charles definitely just made sure there was nothing physically wrong with him and made sure that he was healthy and treated him for, you know, sleep deprivation and just making sure he was okay in that sense of the word. Oh, look, his roommate put some stuff out of his own. Some tea. They brought some tea over for him. Adorable. Um, but really, the big help in this situation with this case was the... Um, he was really sad, and I think that he just needed someone to talk to, and I think that Aaron did a really great job um, opening up and finding out what was going on with him. And she also got to meet all of his family, which was really nice, because now they'll be able to have discussions about it. She actually got along really well with Harry and with Edward. So that made me really happy, and she also got to know Mummy Bear, so that's really nice. So I think things are going to go really well for Charles, and I'm just so happy for the two of them. So if you guys enjoyed this part, please give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Are you happy that they are official? Do you like that they're a couple together, or do you think that maybe Charles would go in a different direction? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. And until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.